I believe that Global South is also emerging as a political uh, actor in the global stage. But the problem we have now, and this is why GSI is so important, is that right now United Nations is no longer a place where the countries have any compliance uh, um, about their acts. So, I mean, just one example, we're talking about the, the Cold War. At the end of the Cold War, everybody expected that, oh, now we're going to have a more peaceful uh, uh, planet, but actually it was the opposite. If you take the numbers, uh, 200 years before the end of the Cold War, which means 1991, 200 years before that, United States did uh, 218 military operations, like this is officially, numbers from US, 218 operations uh, in the world. From 1991, the end of the Cold War and end of the Soviet Union, until this last year, uh, US organized 251 military operations. And some of them, or I would say a big part of them, without any compliance or any agreement in the national, uh, um, in the Security Council of United Nations. Um, so I think this is one of the, the issues that for the next years is going to be one of the biggest challenges, how to create compliance uh, to the members of the United Nations. Because even what's happening now, I mean, of course, I mean, everybody knows, and even like many U.S. officials had warned uh, United States government from Henry Kissinger to John Merschheimer that NATO should not expand to the east. This would create problems. And now we have a war. Or what happened recently with Nord Stream 2. I mean, there was an attack, a terrorist attack against Nord Stream 2. And there's no compliance. Nobody, I mean, there's no investigation. Russia denounced, China denounced, many other countries denounced, but there's no compliance. So again, and by the way, there's interesting that to see that the article of uh, Simon Hirsch, the, the very famous uh, journalist uh, accusing U.S. government of this attack, um, it was published just four days after the uh, creation of this Chinese spy balloon story uh, from, from Western media, which is a great um, smoking, uh, um, <laughs> it was, uh, what is it called, uh, smoking screen, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is the kind of situation that we are dealing now. Uh, so we hope that GSI, together with the Global South countries, uh, can be a step in a, in a way to deal with this challenge, the challenges that we have in the next mm -hmm. years.